What's up everybody, it's Tyler here from Wine Riot. This week on the Wine of the Weekend, we're doing rosé. All right, it's time to dispel of a couple rosé myths. Myth, rosé is just a blend of red wine and white wine. This is generally not true. You see a wine's color comes from the skin of the grapes. So you can actually make white wine from red grapes. They do this all the time in the Champagne region where one of the main grapes is Pinot Noir. If you crush the grapes, but don't add the skins or you keep the skins away from the juice, you'll actually get a very white wine. So how they make rosé is they just let the skin soak for a very short amount of time. They might soak for a couple hours instead of a couple of days to make a red. So what you get with rosé is really a wine that's just halfway between white wine and red wine. The skins just didn't soak for long enough to turn into a red. Myth, rosés are sweet. This isn't really true. Blush wines are sweet. And this is your white Zinfandel, your white, whatever grape they come up with to market it now. These aren't bad, they just aren't rosé. Rosés originally come from France, and they're this light, clean, really easy drinking wine. Winemakers used to make these wines so they had something to drink in the summer while they're walking around the fields. Think about it, it's super hot outside, you have to walk around the fields all day, what do you want? You want something crisp and refreshing to drink. And if it had alcohol, that would be a bonus because you're fresh. Myth, rosé is not a guy's drink. Gentlemen, come with me for a second. Come on. It's 2016. What are you doing with these like random gender norms? You're not gonna drink something because it's pink? It's absolutely shockingly delicious. You go to France, you see all these old men and they're like pretty badass. They wear leather jackets, they smoke like nine packs of cigarettes in a day. They drink rosé. What are you gonna do? Sit there on the beach with your friends and drink a 90 degree bottle of like Cabernet? That is insane. Get some rosé, this is what you wanna drink. And if you decide not to because who knows why, that's fine because there's plenty more for us to drink without you. So what we're doing for you guys this week is we're giving you three rosés that range from super light, so almost you know pretty close to white wine, to pretty heavy, which gets closer to red wine. First up is the Mirabeau Cote de Provence. This is the super light rosé, and this is like the OG rosé, it comes from Provence. This is what the people were running around drinking in the fields. Super light, really refreshing, it's got that like barely pink tint to it, absolutely delicious when the sun comes out and it gets pretty warm. Next up, we have the Brock Cellars Love Rosé from California. So obviously California is not gonna make the same wine as somebody in France. This one is heavier, it's richer, it's bolder, and if you look at the color, it's definitely a lot darker. So after you've been to the beach and you had a bunch of bottles of the super light Provence Rosé because you've been in the direct sun, you get home, you sit on your porch, this is the bottle you crack while you wait for dinner to show up. The last wine we have is the Hogwash Grenache. Comes from Spain, and this is a super heavy rosé. Now this is the kind of wine you want to have while you barbecue. And by barbecue, I don't mean some Martha Stewart Pinterest level thing. I mean standing around in somebody's backyard drinking until the neighbors call the police on Spanish Grenache is typically really big, bold, and juicy, and so is this wine. You're gonna to want to check it out and check out all these other rosés. If you can't find these exact bottles, don't sweat it. Go to your neighborhood store, see what they have, so you have plenty of time to find your new favorite wine to drink all summer long. Cheers.